I've got theories on life. I've figured out the circle of life. It's simple. All it is is this, right? All growing up is, is becoming old enough that you no longer take a bath, you take a shower. Right, and all growing old is, is becoming so old that you take a bath again. That is all life is. <laughs> bath, shower, bath, death. That is it. <laughs> that is all we're here for. Birth, bath, shower, bath, death. That's the whole thing, I'm afraid. Unless you're a Buddhist, and then it's birth, bath, shower, bath, death, bird bath. That's the whole game. <laughs> There's little mini milestones along the way. Of course there are. When you first start out in the world, it's not a bath, is it? It's a sink. That's how it works. <laughs> When you're a little baby, you have a bath and a sink, right? With your mum washing you in the sink with a sponge like you're a plate. It's pathetic. <laughs> it's dehumanising, it's humiliating. You're nothing but a fork to this woman. She looks at you and she sees a mug. You're a literal mug in your own mum's eyes. <laughs> then you get a bit older and you graduate to a bath in a bath, AKA a bath, correct? <laughs> then you get a bit older than that and you have your first unsupervised bath. Yeah, everyone's a different age. I was 15, everyone's different. <laughs> In fact, before that, before you get to the unsupervised bath, right, there's another one, and that is you will have a bath with a sibling. Now, <laughs> you did do it, okay, if you've got a sibling, you had a bath with that sibling at one point, and I know you did, because I've got proof, because every single one of you has one disposable photo <laughs> of you in the bath next to that sibling, and one of you's used the shampoo to quiff up your hair, <laughs> and the other one thinks it's the funniest thing they've ever seen in their goddamn life. <laughs> and they are correct. Then you get a bit older than that and you graduate to the aforementioned unsupervised bath. Then you get older than that and you graduate to showers. Now that is significant for two reasons. First of all, that is a shift from horizontal to vertical bathing. Holy shit. <laughs> Secondly, it is a more dramatic shift from nighttime to morning bathing. Oh my God, what a day. That day for the first time I'd had a shower in the morning before school. Ah, that was the day I became a man. That was the atheist bar mitzvah. <laughs> That's how I felt every single day when I had a shower before school, and then quickly that turns itself into a shower before work, and that is a much bleaker experience. <laughs> that is much less, yep, yeah, I'm a businessman now, and much more, uh, just keep washing your body so you don't get fired. That is it. <laughs> 50 years walking into work every day going, you wouldn't fire a clean man, would you? That's all we're doing. <laughs> there are some people, by the way, who don't shower before work, and those people are self-employed. Anyway. <laughs> Then you get a bit older than that, and it stops being a shower before work, and that's because you retire, right? And once you retire, you can do what you want, none of my beeswax. What tends to happen is you get to an age where you're not yet ready to return to baths for good, right, and admit defeat, but you're struggling to keep up the showering on the regs. That means regular. So what you do is you will have what is known as a gateway bath, and that is where you are having a shower, but that shower has got a little chair in it. That's where you're at. <laughs> chair showers for a bit. My dad's at that age now. He's got to have a chair in his shower. It's making him feel really old. So what he's doing to combat that is he is sitting on the chair backwards. And now he feels like a cool supply teacher doing an assembly about drugs. It's incredible. <laughs> so much confidence and sass, this guy. <laughs> then you get a bit older than that and you get back to baths. Then you get older than that and you get to bed baths, if you're lucky. It's not a perfect circle. You don't go back to sinks. <laughs> but a bed bath is just someone bringing a basin to you and washing you with a sponge. So you are a plate again. You're just a plate all over again. <laughs> Start and end your life as a plate, just an older plate. That's the whole game. That's it, by the way. If you get to bed bath age, you don't really spring back to showers after that. If you get to, you sort of die next. That's why it's called bed bath and beyond. <laughs> but that's life, isn't it? That's the circle of life. Birth, bath, shower, bath, death. Or to be more specific, birth, sink, bath, brother bath, solo bath, shower, school shower, work shower, chair shower, bath, bed bath, death. 